oh, 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 caught one, caught one, got one. Last second, last second. I think my battery's about to die. It's a, dude, it's a monster. Weston, it's like a five pounder, bro. It's a monster. What is going on guys? We are joined with Weston Smith today and we are gonna be doing a 1v1 challenge. We have our expensive Japanese lures, the DRT VTS five inch. And we're gonna be going against them with the dollar store Japanese lures. Pick these things up from the Asia market. I'll go ahead and show you everything here in a little bit, but it's gonna be a 1v1 challenge against our man, Weston Smith to see who can catch more fish. So let's get at it. All right guys, so we have the baits right here in front of us. As you can see, a few different selections. We got like a cross style bait, a few different worms, two micro jigs, a frog, and then once again, his DRT VTSs. He also uh, brought a few different other baits that we might be trying out. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig through these things, see which one we wanna try, and uh, go from there. All right guys, so the first thing we're probably gonna do is just go with this little drop shot setup. I did bring the finesse setup, the Guggen Gold Series. We got a 3 16 ounce little teardrop weight with a two aught little octopus hook. I usually use octopus hooks when I do drop shots just because they have a little slight bend in the eyelet right there and it helps keep that hook a little bit more up, uh, upright at least I think. I noticed uh, we got these worms and we got these worms. And if you look at the back of them, they both tell you how you can rig them. This one actually says to rig it like a drop shot. This one says to uh, go Nico rig. So I don't have any Nico weights, but maybe we can always go weightless with it, or not weightless, but wacky, and uh, do like a wacky drop shot. But we'll try out one of these real quick. I think I want to do the darker color just because it's going to pop a little bit more. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. See what they feel like real quick. Oh, they actually feel pretty, pretty good. That's, it's like a zoom worm. That's exactly what it feels like. It's a little stiff, but uh, it's definitely doing the trick. They feel kind of weird when you go through them. Like you can tell they're cheaper plastic, but I think that'll work. Here goes nothing. Water is actually really clear here. So this black with red flake should probably stand out real good. I think out there by the fountain. Kind of just play around with it. I know Weston's got that five inch fluke, uh, the VTS. And um, those things are really, really good. I think he's already on a fish. Get him boy. He's already on him. DRT. All right, now it's on. Weston's already on him. Now we gotta make something happen. I think we're on one too. Oh yeah. Fish on. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Double up. Double up. Let's go. Let's go. The Japanese lure double up. Oh, you got me beat on the cheap stuff. He's bigger by a little bit. Gosh dang it. Hey, drop shot's uh, killing it, man. DRT, I paid big money for this fish. <laughs> Four dollar fish. Four dollar fish right there. Heck yeah, boys. That thing is awesome. Solid hook set, too. He wasn't going to go anywhere with that. Very durable worm. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water real quick. All right, guys. First one on the drop shot. One to one. Woo! Another thing about these drop shot guys, you want to keep the rod tip pretty high until you're actually uh, reeling in the slack, then you can kind of go down a little bit, but I prefer to keep mine pretty high up so I can feel every little tip. Keeps the line up, keeps the weight down and the worm kind of in between the water. Fish number two for Weston, it's probably the size of his bait. <laughs> give it a go over here. Oh, right away. Oh, I had one, probably a bluegill, but right away, as soon as it hit the water. Let's see what we can get. There's a slight little drop off right here. Down deep. We on one? You got one? Yeah. Oh, it just oh. got broke off. Oh no. <laughs> I'm actually gonna try a different worm now. We have an idea of that black and blue worm. I'm gonna try this worm, which uh, looks a little bit fancier, comes in a fancier package, and it's actually black, no flake, and it's definitely for drop shotting. It's got the flat base, and it's got a flat tail. It looks a lot more flat.
oh, 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 caught one, caught one, got one. Last second, last second. I think my battery's about to die. It's a, dude, it's a monster. Weston, it's like a five pounder, bro. It's a monster. Oh, it's a catfish. So we got a massive catfish on the line right now. GoPro just died, so I'm recording on my phone at the same time. <laughs> But we got 10 pound line on here. I'm afraid it's gonna snap on me if I get him too close. Let's see if we can get him in. Dude, this thing is just fighting like crazy. Oh shit. Throw that out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna get him in. It's like a channel cat. I thought I had like a five pound bass for a second, dude. I swear he jumped and everything. That's nuts. He's big. Come on, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> Monster catfish on the Japanese lure. Insane. This is like dinner for like two weeks if you wanted, man. This thing slabs. Dude, that's huge. It looks huge on the camera. It is giant. It's definitely like a five pound. Let's go get a weight real quick or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're deceiving. They're dense. That might be more than five, dude, but I, I don't know. All right, so check it out. Scale zeroed out. Oof. Let's see. I think more than five. I told you, man. I said seven right off the bat. They're deceiving, right? If that was six a bass, points, it would look a little smaller. Yeah, dude, 6.7. It'll lock. He's six and three quarters, it looks like. Let's see. Yep. Six and three quarter pound catfish, guys, on the Japanese dollar lures. Let's get him back in the water real quick. Woo! Oh, he said see ya right away. Man, that was insane, guys. Literally was turned off my camera because I had 1% left walking over here to get uh, another battery and that catfish smacked it last second at the bank, literally at the bank. Uh, but now that I got a fish on uh, both these style of worms, I'm probably gonna try out different lure real quick and uh, see what else we got here. All right, so we're gonna try out one of these VTSs, DRT VTSs real quick. Did you just break, you had one? Man, you are on them. Weston's killing it today. Dude, these VTSs look amazing. It's like a, like a hot dog with a fluke tail. It looks like uh, this part's downward because there's a slight hook slot here, but here's your DRT hot dog looking bait. Literally just a wiener with a, a DRT tail. Let's try it out. There we go. Got that hammer hook in there nice nice and secured. Let's try it. Let's try it real quick. Oh yeah, they got some good weight on them. That's for sure. The way I'm working this little VTS is just tap, tap, tossing it out there, letting it sit for a second. Tap, tap. Just letting it do its thing. That sun's coming out. That's when these flukes should be really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just like I said it, just like I said it. VTS, fish number one. These things are money, dude. They swim really, really nice, but for $4 a piece, I don't know, that's pretty damn steep. They remind me of a, just like a fluke version of the DRT, like they cut really, really wide through the water. First fish on the DRT. For, yeah. There we go, guys, first one on the DRT fluke. One thing about these baits though is the, uh, the nose is definitely weak. The area where I set the hook kind of messed it all up. But um, see if we can get at least another fish out of it. Pulling them in from the deep probably, I think. But just probably chasing them up and not committing until the very edge. That's usually how fish are with fluke style baits. Got hit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Dude. Yeah, they definitely want this uh, fluke style bait more than they want that down low stuff. They are working those edges. Let's see you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, since we already got two fish on the VTS and these things are uh, pretty damn expensive and hard to come about, I'm going to save the rest for Weston and then I'm going to try out a few other lures that we got. I know we got a topwater frog that I'm like super, super uh, tempted to try, but I also got a jig and a craw. And to be honest, I think those look really, really good. They might be really good together. So um, I might, hmm, I might go finesse jig real quick and then try out the frog. But it is, what is it? 547 it's frog time man if you ask me i'm gonna do a jig and the frog so i can screw around okay cool i just show you guys real quick awesome little nano micro setup Let's see if we can get anything on this even a blue gill i'll be happy at the end of the day i saw a little wake right there i was like what was that that was you oh but i'm on but i'll take it Thanks, Weston, for showing me where they at, man. <laughs> the jig is complete. Take a look at that guy. Little Japanese lure combo, jig combo, whatever you want to call it. Working clutch. All right, guys, uh, I think we're on fish number four for the day. And uh, that's the first one on that little jig and craw combo. See you, little guy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I don't know. What the? Dude, we got another one. I don't know what it is. This drag is just screaming, boys. Woo! What is it? Is it another cat? Where is it taking me? It has to be a catfish if it hasn't shown itself yet. Insane, literally, oh, 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 oh. Dude, dude, this thing might be bigger than the last one. Oh my God, oh my God. It might even be the same one. <laughs> this is insane. Come on. Dude, these catfish today are crazy. Can you see what he's got over there? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, come on. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. Enough playing around. He's like, no, no, we're going to play around a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. There we go, boys. Dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God, it might even be the same damn one. I swear, Weston. <laughs> I swear it's the same catfish. The tank is fat, dude. Hold on, does it have the hook mark from earlier? No one. No, it doesn't. Okay, it's not the same catfish. There's two of these in here. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, two like seven pound catfish in one day. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what to think. Japanese lures are killing it, guys. Yes. All right. Will it be two PB catfishes in one day? Holy crap. That thing's fat. Dude, he's got a belly. He's pissed. We are at 6.2, 6.3. I'm going to say 6.3. It's bouncing back and forth between 6.2 and 6.4. So we'll meet it in the middle. Go 6.3. Another solid catfish. What is going on, guys? We're after bass, not even catfish. Crazy. Catfish number two. All right guys, our last lure to try is this little uh, clown looking frog. I don't think it's gonna work very well here, but I'm probably gonna give it a loop around the pond real quick and see if we can make something happen. Possibly. Guys, got a little grassy edge. And maybe in that tunnel. Yeah, it might be. Let's drop it in there or something. Yeah, give it an oval. 
pop and stop. Does this even go in? Uh, it's a little too shallow, I think. I don't even know if I can make this cast in this one. Yeah, it's going to be a tricky one. <laughs> This is at least like a three, I'd say maybe even a four. Choke that frog. Nice skinny. Look at that frog. Literally, as soon as it hit the water, I heard like a boom, and I was like, nah. Saw my line darting out the way. Ah, oh, dude, solid fish. I'm like, <laughs> like pumped right now, dude. Get a look at that thing, guys. It is choked. Straight up ate that Japanese frog. I get I've never seen one that's white and red like that either. Like just I, totally weird. I, yeah, it's. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is the one I want. It's crazy. It looks like. A clown, and that's what I wanted to do, dude. Insane. First cast, just like you said, bro. Hell yes. <laughs> Let's go. Friggin' bass out of there. <laughs> Alright, he's putting it on the scale. I gotta help him out. Ah, <laughs> oh, he just, uh, he got me in the jewels. Uh, Alright, guys, biggest bass of the day, easily. What are we rocking? 3.88, 3.75, it's it's bouncing back and forth. It's almost a four pound bass. Just chunk it in that little drainage ditch, guys. That is that, I think, dude, that would be a four and a half easy. It's just kind of got that skinny summer bod. Like, yeah. give them the under profile, give them the, look at it. Yeah. It's not like super fat, unfortunately. Definitely post spawn. Huge fish though. Definitely should be eating more, but hey, let's get this guy unhooked. Hell yeah, <laughs> Japanese frog, guys. Insane. Never expect that to work that way. Let's get him back in the water. As this is literally the tunnel we just pulled this fish out of. Insane. Let's go put him right back where he was. There's only like a foot of water here too. There's, it, as soon as it hit the water, man, that guy took it. Right back to your home guy. Look at it. His back's out of the water. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. That is gonna do it. Another epic night on the water with our boy Weston Smith. That uh, JDM 1v1 challenge definitely paid off. Um, I can't really say there's a winner. We got, I wanna I say- I think you won, dude. You <laughs> I, caught like 20 pounds of fish in like three fish. I was gonna say, I caught a four pound fish on every single lure that I used today. So that's pretty damn successful. But uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If uh, you guys have any questions, go let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna leave links below um, for whatever lures I can. And uh, we'll also leave Weston's link over there so you can check out his video as well. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.